Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs and I've got the first of several Simply Sparkling projects for you. Unfortunately, before I could get the video up, the stamp set has sold out. So if you have it, great. If not, the dies are still available, um, but unfortunately the stamp set is sold out. But I wanna show you this fun card. This is actually a case of a card uh, that we did for my in color club. Isn't it fun in all those colors? And I thought, you know, let's take it even another step further and use Berry Burst. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Um, we're gonna stamp the can on uh, Berry Burst cardstock, and we're also gonna cut it out from the uh, um, glimmer paper. Now there's so many options you can do. You can color your can, you can uh, stamp it on colored cardstock like we're doing. You can stamp it on patterned paper. Lots of ways to color your can. Um, now I'm gonna stamp the little, what I call swoosh mark here, right there in the middle in berry burst. All right, and um, oh, we also need to stamp the straw a couple of times in berry burst. Let's bring that back over. I'm just gonna do it two times like that. All right, bring your cut and emboss machine. Now you're gonna to need to cut out several other things, which I've already done, and I'm gonna show you in a second, but you're gonna to need to cut out the, the little silver pop top part twice, and uh, you're going to need a lemon. This one right here I've cut from Lemon Lolly, and this one I've cut from Daffodil Delight. Here's the little pop top image, and it cuts the top, the bottom, and the little pop top part. I guess that's the pop top. That's the, the lid, I don't know. You guys know, the top and the bottom parts of the, um, the can. Okay, let's get this going. Here's the straw, and then we've got the uh, can right here. And, oh well, goodness gracious. Don't you love when that happens? Let's try that again. Get everything situated. And let's see if I can not drop it. All right. Run that through. There's your can. And then we've got to run this one more time for our straw, our second straw. piece our cans together. Here I have cut it from glimmer paper. Um, before I cut out my silver pieces, my silver foil pieces, I actually put adhesive sheets on the back of them. That way we can just peel off that backing. If we can get it started with our take your pick tool. Well, it's going to be, there we go. It's going to be difficult for me. I have a feeling today's just going to be a day of Errors <laughs> that happen sometimes, just over and over things don't go as you plan. All right, let's see, there we go, much easier this time. And that one's gonna go right there. All right, and then we've got the bottom part. You know, your take your pick tool is so helpful, especially when you have long nails like I do. You're gonna definitely need it. That putty part helps you pick pieces up and the piercing part helps peel off that, that back. All right, now the little pull tabs, pop tops, whatever you wanna call them. We'll put that one right there. And this one right here. Now for the lemon, again, I did the back part in Daffodil Delight and the front part in Lemon Lolly. I put an adhesive sheet on the back of the Lemon Lolly piece so that it turns into a sticker, makes it easy to adhere. All right, let's just put a dot of glue, very small right there for our straws. Okay, I'll have one kind of going 
that way. And if you can lift up your, the edge of your uh, silver piece to slide that under like that. All right, let's see if we can get this one. There we go. And there we go. All right. Now I have cut out a long banner from the um, Hearts and Hugs die set. And we're going to stamp your soda light full. Now we call soda here in where I live, we call it soda. I know some people call it pop. Some people call it Coke. But whatever you call it, I think that will work. All right, we've got all of our pieces. I've got a Berry Burst card base. I'm gonna take the bubble image and just stamp all around the edge like that. You wanna put down something to protect your work surface because we're stamping off the edge and so you might get ink there on your counter. All right, now I have cut three pieces of our um, designer series paper, one and a fourth by three and a half. And I'm just gonna take some adhesive and I'm just gonna kind of do them kind of crooked each time like that. All right, and then we'll grab our dimensionals. And let's start with our, uh, let's start with our glimmer paper, a soda can. I'm gonna put two dimensionals on the back of that. And we'll put two dimensionals on the back of this one. And let's get our sentiment. Now we're gonna tuck a bow underneath this. So let's leave the ends open. Put your dimensionals in the middle. Put that right there. And then we'll get our little lemon. Now this set has several fruits. You could do a cherry, a strawberry, a peach. You could color the lemon if you want. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna take um, our silver trim. I'm gonna tie a bow. I thought this would go nicely with our silver foil um, top and bottom. And let's see, do I have scissors right here? Trim that off. Grab a mini glue dot. And I'm gonna tuck that right under there like that. And there you go, a really cute card. I love pun sayings. They're really always super fun, and this one is this one is fun too. All right, let's look at the other ones. They're a little bit different. I added some in color dots as well. Uh, there's our pretty in pink. All right, now I'll have the supply list on my blog today, so make sure you check it out. And I'll have two more Simply Sparkling projects in the next couple of days. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.